Alrighty, hi people, it's Chaser, and yep, yeah, uh, it's time to do another Ranger Key unboxing, and also another Go Kaiger unboxing. So I'm here to do the Kaizoku Sentai Go Kaiger Memorial Edition Anniversary Heroes and King Oger Ranger Key sets. So yeah, this contains Ranger Key sets for the newest Sentai as of this video, which is King Oger, the newest... The next new one will premiere weeks after I'm recording this. Uh, this is similar to the set with uh, um, Don Brothers from last year. Um, also has, for going from, I guess, newest to oldest, Kyoryuger, Abba Ranger, Die Ranger, and Dynaman. So, yeah. And as you guys may remember, I have keys already from the 35 red set and then the after Gokai red set. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, going to be comparing the Red Rangers of those to these ones that I already have. There are some unfortunate um, paint app errors that, for some reason, change from how they did the uh, renders when they, were, when they announced this thing. Because the renders have everything right, but for some reason the painting, when they went to go paint the keys... And even some of the plastic, mainly for, uh, Die Ranger? Huh. They, uh, they just didn't turn out right for some reason. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, and then I also have another key from the previous 35 Red set. That, from before the Memorial Edition version. So, we're gonna take a look at that. So, yeah. So, first we have this mailing box, I believe, that... In Japan, uh, Bandai, once they have all the orders done that they got for pre-orders, they send these out. So, yeah, and I've been using these to store the Ranger Keys because I don't have any anything better at the moment. So, yeah. So there's nothing special about these brown boxes, but we have... The box containing the keys, which is wrapped in tissue paper that I don't need. So here we go. Uh, someone got one of these early somewhere else and they took pictures of the box and put them online and everything. There are some paint app issues that other people have been having, and if I see them, I will point them out. But yeah, uh, mainly the biggest paint app errors are on uh, the King Ogers and the Die Rangers, and I'm, I'm going to point those out as I get to them. But yeah, um, so yeah, but I love actually this artwork. Uh, everything, clearly they took uh, stock photos of the suits, probably when they took like green screen pictures of them for Gokaiger, but that's not bad. Uh, and then the King Ogers as well, and then the Kira Ogers. Um, honestly, this honestly looks really cool. This looks like it could be a movie poster. Like, that's how good I think it is. So, yeah. Clearly, um, Toei took the pictures for them, and maybe the people at Toei who designed the marketing posters and everything for their movies did this, but I don't know. Whoever did this, they did a good job. I will, like, take pride in what you did. You did good. So, yeah, you just have all the King Ogers on the front, all seven of them. You have uh, the other four teens represented by their reds. So, yeah. And it says here, Anniversary Heroes and King Oger set, Memorial Edition and everything. So, yeah, Bandai Namco, Bandai, approved by Toei Company. So, yeah. On the bottom here, you have the seven King Ogers. Uh, I think it's just the renders from the announcement, but there's they're represented there pretty nicely. And some copyright information, everything, everything's in Japanese, so I can't really or most everything's in Japanese, so I can't really read it. Oh, they printed those in English. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, I don't remember if on the previous sets they did, so. Yeah, and then right here you have most of the keys floating with a good representation of all the teams, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm imagining most of these keys came from when Toei uh, took, like, I think they took, like, pictures of them. And for mainly the Gokaiger opening, they um, they have all the keys floating around them and everything. And the Gokaigers reach out to, I think, grab their main ones. 
So yeah, so that's where that comes from. And here we go with what's in here of all the teams. These are all the renders um, and everything. So you got Dia Man, Die Ranger, Abba Ranger, Kyoryuger, which for some reason they did not include Alive Gray, Kyoryu Cyan, or Death Ranger. I don't understand why. Those are the only three that are missing from the set to make it complete in regards to the court, the Kyoryugers. I imagine at some point what will happen is that Bandai will do a Ranger Key set of like... I don't know, like a special one that includes uh, leftover keys that they did not include for the main teams and everything. Yeah. Although I guess since Death Ryuger is a bad guy, Kiryu Navy is a movie exclusive ranger, and I guess Live Gray, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't, they just didn't see it as um, necessary, but they put out two different ranger key sets 10 years ago almost, maybe like nine or eight years ago, for the Kiryugers. And they had all of them in there, so across the two sets. In fact, the second sets they did Ranger Keys for the enemies for some reason from Kyrioger. So yeah. Then the King Ogers. So yeah. Kyrioger has a lot of Rangers in it. Granted, they probably didn't need, necessarily need to do the live variant of Cyan and then uh, the female purple, or even the male purple if they wanted to go with female purple, but yeah. So here we go. Uh, you know, the stock photos and everything of all the teams, or at least the core teams, um, which is nice. Uh, and then the King Ogers shows you how to use the Ranger key, or the flip gimmick on the keys. So, yeah. So then there's a barcode thing for whatever that is, and showing you can use them in the Memorial Mobirates. Maybe that's how you order one if you live in Japan. Uh, but yeah, because maybe they're still making them. But yeah, so here we go. I'm glad that they didn't. They don't have tape on this box. Although, I accidentally tore the box when I opened this. I guess. Let's see it was like that, but whatever. Um. So yeah, so we have three trays of keys. Yeah, three. So here you have the Dynaman, or yeah, Dynaman, Die Rangers, Kyriugers, and then Abba Rangers and King Ogers. I guess they couldn't properly. They wanted to have, I guess, the entire Kyriugers on one tray, which I can understand. So let's put these off camera. So here we go. You know, ooh, that came off pretty nicely. Previous sets have been like snapped on. So yeah. So here we go with the Red Ranger. I am not familiar with Dynaman, so I don't know the proper designations. So yeah. So we have that, and then we have the one from the 35 Red set. Uh, looks basically the same. The one from the 35 Red set, though. It looks like the symbol right here was stamped on with regular uh like yellow paint matches the stripe here it's a gold and ah oh, that's an improvement i like this so if you see the tr it's just a triangle right there here they made an improvement by i think just having it be a stamp with the individual letters on the helmet that's nice i actually kind of like that and then the white on the suit is a bit more opaque. I don't know. I don't know whether or not that's more accurate to the suits, but yeah. Uh, and then the black, the black uh, on the back of the helmet's a bit more, a bit more dark. It's a bit more faded out. I don't necessarily know if that has to do with anything, but there you go. So. So, yeah. So, there we go. Already some good improvements upon the Dynamans, uh keys. Uh, so now we get the yellow ranger. 
which it's good to get uh, the keys from prior to the 2000s. Um, and keys that are not necessarily essential to Super Sentai. Like, people don't talk about them, unfortunately, in regards to the teams. But yeah, we did not get... A lot of these keys from prior to teams in the 2000s did not get, uh, like, DX Ranger keys. They're just in Gashapon form, which is partly why I'm buying these. Because I want all the keys, and I don't care if they're in Gashapon form, because Gashapon keys suck. But yeah, uh, and getting them now, if you ever watch uh, Toku Topics, he's been, for the last two or three years, doing what he calls Project Unlock, where he's getting every single variant of every single Ranger key ever in existence. And I could not imagine the headache or the waste of money. So yeah. But yeah, you see the helmet right there. That just looks really cool. Okay, and the top above DA is different on that. Looks like the black paint wasn't in entirely applied really well for the stripe on the top but that's whatever so yeah honestly off to a good start here uh blue Yeah, you just barely, it's not really showing up on camera too well, maybe it is. You just barely see the lettering on top of them, or on top of the helmets. I really do, it's really just funny to me how the Dynaman suits are based on, like, I think baseball uniforms. I don't know why they are, but they are. I don't know what those symbols mean, if anyone knows, let me know. And then black. Oh, the stamp job was not done that well on this one because there's barely any black there. Probably because silver paint. Oh, okay, so it's silver paint under the under the gold stamp right there. So yeah, it's a bit hard to make out what it's actually supposed to look like, unfortunately, for that symbol because of the paint okay so now we go with die ranger i got rearranger right here um so first gonna compare it to the one from the 35 red set it is basically identical the gold accents on the helmet are a bit different I'm assuming they may be more close to the actual helmet, but I don't know. And unfortunately, the... Okay, that's, so that's not actually as bad as I thought um, when I saw the Ren... When I saw the, like, people's pictures of them. The three stripes that are here don't come all the way down to the waist. Um, they just go down to their midsections, basically, on the new versions of the keys. So that's a bit disappointing, but not as bad as I thought. There was also a thing where the renders of the keys showed that the hinges right here, the things that hold the hinges for the legs, um, weren't the same color as the legs, like they technically should be and what the renders look like. Um, but um, they aren't like that on the 35 Red Tech key because uh, someone said that they were. No, no, it's just always been like that. So I can't fault them for just repeating the same mold stuff. And then on here, this is a key from, I want to say it was like probably 2011, 2012. This is from the original 35 red set. And it's not that much different in regards to this. Uh, and yeah, so there's not much difference between them. Same molding process and everything. So yeah, outside of these stripes, yeah. Oh, and the white on here is starting to yellow. I hate that. But yeah. Um, so, I, some people have a problem with the fact that the, the red here, I guess, wasn't painted over, um, or maybe this wasn't cast in red, the, his torso area wasn't cast in red and then painted white, um, but 
it would seem that the plastic here was painted or was cast in white and it just didn't care to color it. It's I can't fault them for that though, because they haven't done that before. So yeah, what I will fault them for is not doing the stripes all the way down like they should have. Um that is where I will critique this. So yeah. There are five stars, I believe, is what that translates to. But yeah, so Re-Ranger is fine. It's just a bit disappointing if you expected anything that I just said. The the three stripes are really weird that they didn't paint all the way down. I will, I do agree with that. Um, but the hinges, I can't really fault them for doing how they did. Considering it's how they have always done it. Now we have, I think, Hole Ranger. Um... She looks fine, same stripe issue on all five of them, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on it. The weird thing about her though is she doesn't have the white uh the white knee pads painted on her for some reason. I don't think it was done on the original key from when they did gash from when they did the gash upon version. But um I don't know why they didn't paint them on her this time, because she does the suit does have them. Um I and the render of the key has it right, so I don't know why they didn't do the paint apps right in that way. I think this is Kieran Ranger, but I need to actually watch Die Ranger. I hear it's really good, so yeah. Again, about the same as Rear Ranger in regards to the paint apps. Then we have Blue Ranger, I think it's Tenla Ranger. Again, looks really good. So, and these, most of these were all, were also just in gash upon form. All right, this is, uh, it's really funny. Uh, back in 2013, I think it was, when it was at a, um, it was at a toy fair of some kind where Bandai America were revealing their Ranger keys um, for when Super Mega Force was a thing or was coming up. They had, a mock-up, a prototype key of this Ranger on the display. They eventually replaced it with a different key, but someone uh, snapped the picture of it, I think posted it on Twitter and everything. We never got any... Uh, they used the footage of the Die Rangers at a few points. Uh, we never got um, any keys for the Die Rangers. I would have maybe expected keys for the Die Rangers, but maybe they thought, oh, these guys aren't in Power Rangers or whatever. But they ended up using their footage from Gokai, so I, of the Gokai changed the Die Ranger, so I don't, a couple times, so I, I don't know. So we got, uh, Kiba Ranger, aka the White Tiger Ranger from Mighty Morphin, or Fang Ranger. So yeah, this one looks really good, I like the sparkly gold on the helmet. Looks like the paint apps are fine, from what I can see on mine. Uh, there was, I think, one person who got, like, the mouth, the silver paint app over the mouth area of the helmet was, d like, re really badly painted. It was, like, not entirely there. So, that is annoying. I can, uh, I will agree with that. That is annoying. When you get a paint app mistake like that, just, yeah... QC issues of some of these sets really don't make any sense to me. Okay, on to the ones with the Kiryujers. So we got... Uh, 10 keys? Yeah, 10 keys here. We would have 13 if they bothered to do 3 more, but... Whatever. Um, so... Yeah, okay. Oh, no, okay. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so, sure you read. Paint apps are fine on the helmet. Someone on Twitter posted last night after they got theirs that uh, the paint app on the lower right-hand corner was off or missing on theirs, but 
Mine's painted fine. It's just an isolated incident. Don't ju don't take isolated incidents as indicative of the whole, please. This is the thing I have to say with the lightning collection as well. So here's the one from the After Gokai set. It looks like the teeth have two different ways of being applied and painted. So I'm assuming this is closer to the helmet where there's a white undercoat and then they painted the teeth on, whereas the one from the After Gokai set, it just looks like they painted it on with the red or with the yellow without doing a white coat first. It looks like the, the base mold is roughly the same. The eyes are a bit different as well. Okay, so they they modified that. A little bit of smearing on the paint on the helmet in a, for the eyes, or for one of the eyes. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really care at the end of the day in regards to some minute issues like that or minor issues. The sash is a bit different. I I'm assuming this is closer. This is the one from this set. I'm assuming this is closer to how the actual suit has it because they shrunk the the T-Rex, which I think is better because it takes up most of the corner right here. So that's not bad. All right. And I don't have the one from the Curiouja set, so. Curiouja! Curiouja! Something I think I noted when I was doing the unboxing and review of the Memorial Mobirit was um they uh you can tell the difference between when uh they did a recording for a team back in like 2011 2010 2011 versus a team that they had the voice actor record for in 2020 so yeah so cure you black To my naked eye, he looks fine. A bit of a paint splotch there, but again, I don't really think that that's necessarily that bad. Cure you green, which looks good. No paint apps, splotches, or mistakes right there. Cure you blue. To my naked eye, looks fine. Yeah, I can't see any paint app errors there. Cure you pink. Nice, her her arms. None of the other rangers are... Oh, wait. Cure you blue has a darker blue... I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Has a darker blue applied to his arms. Cure you green has a darker green. You can see it more easily there. Um, Cure you red has a lighter red that verges on pink, or maybe a salmon color. Cure you black has the white. That is that is good. Why couldn't you guys do the same thing with the fucking hurricanes in the last set? But yeah, she has a she has a different shade of pink, like a hot pink on her arms. Which is very nice. But yeah, to my naked eye, looks fine. No paint app errors of any kind or splotches. Cure you gold, which the the render of this looked wonky, but I think that this key turned out really well. For to my naked eye, looks fine. No paint app errors that I can see. He looks. Really good. I love the Golden Ranger keys as well when they're actually done in like the metallic gold. That just looks great to me. Um, these keys out of the way. All right. So, Cyan, or Xian, as it's pronounced in the Japanese way. This is the male variant. In Kuryujer, this wasn't a thing that they carried over to the Dino Charge, but in Kuryujer, Two of the rangers initially, Kiryu Grey and Kiryu Cyan, were 
uh, uh, spirit rangers, basically. They were dead uh, ghost characters, essentially. And as a result, while the Kiryujers, while the rest of the Kiryujers, outside of those two, and later on the ones who took the powers, um, were alive, their the batteries on them are yellow, while these are more drained of color and they look like they're more towards a brown shade of, co of some kind of color. So yeah, uh, and that's something that's, uh, that they took attention to and made for these keys. I'm wondering which key would be canon, though, between the male and female variants of Cyan and the uh, the alive version, too. As well as Kiryu Gray, would it be alive or would it be dead? <laughs> yeah, so the female variant of Kiryu Cyan. And you can just, yeah, you can see the differences between the two. So yeah, that was, they also did those variants in the, uh, in the original set that they released years ago as well. So we got Kiryu Purple, the female variant. And the only way you can tell is the black lines denoting the skirt. So, yeah. Looks nice. Uh, then the male variant of Kiryu Purple. Or Violet, I think actually, right? But yeah, um, not really too much of a difference between the two. Oh yeah, and they have the, uh, the different colors on their arms. I don't think, yeah, Curious Cyan, or no, Curious Cyan does. Okay. I think they really paid attention to feedback on the, uh, the, uh, Hurricangers. And we got, I think this is Curious Silver. Because he's done in a silver paint. I think this was called the Graphite Ranger. Although I could be wrong in Dino Charge. Looks good. To my naked eye. Yeah, looks fine. Uh, and then Kyoryu Gray. Maybe this was the Graphite Ranger. I can't remember. I didn't watch Dino Charge all the way through, unfortunately. I'm going to at some point, but yeah. And he just has the dead drained battery color. Yeah, and I don't think that they address that in, Curie, in Dino Charge at all. Which is whatever. Alright. And now the last tray. Uh, and I'll keep these guys here. Last tray of the Abba Rangers and the King Ogers. All right, so let's do Abba Rangers first. Abba Red. Some of these with the visors, they are just weird. So yeah, this is the one from the 35 Memorial Edition Red set. The visor is weird uh, on this one. I think this is more accurate to the suit. The black is a bit more open. The white is a bit more heavily applied around the visor. Bit of a paint error on the one that came in the 35 red set. This one is mostly fine. <coughs> um, maybe a slight paint up error there and there. But nothing I can't really, nothing I really don't care about, honestly. Yeah, they didn't put the uh, the white diamonds on the arms, but it's just whatever at this point. They never have, so I don't really care. But it's basically the same across the two of them, so I can't really complain. Yeah, Abba Red. 
Auto yellow. She looks fine. I think I think there was a DX was there a DX version of Ava Ranger came out? There might have been. Uh yeah, there was. I'm not gonna compare these to them though. Um I don't care. But yeah, uh she looks fine. Ava Blue. Or a body blue? I can't, I don't know. Yeah, he looks fine. Not really that many paint app errors that I can spot. Uh, a body black. Uh, yeah, he just looks fine. Maybe some paint app errors on the left hand side for where the gold is, but I can't. I can't really bring myself to care much. And then... <laughs> so, yeah, which this one was actually released. It initially with the... Ooh, okay. So this one was, this key was released with the uh, the Gokai Cellular. This is the one from this set. This is the one from the Cellular. Less paint for the visor and the helmet. The helmet's not even the same mold for some reason. So yeah, they have the black trim around the, the red part, but they don't have the V or the Black marks that are supposed to come down from the visor. And the visor looks like it was redone for this, but that may be just the black trim not being applied around it as well. So, yeah, I gotta... I gotta knock down some points for that. People get on Hasbro, but, uh... Sometimes Bandai has a miss as well. So, yeah. Uh, it's a good thing I got the... Memorial Gokai Cellular, because, well, I have a good version of Abare, or Abare Killer. So, yeah. So, finally, we have King Ogers, with the Red Ranger. Now, these are mostly fine. However, the problem is the legs here. This, uh, for the decal that they did... For every uh, one of them outside of uh, Akumo, I believe, uh, they all, uh, for some reason, the painters all gave them Akumos, aka spiders, um, uh, like, patterning, when they're not supposed to have two of these, they're supposed to have only one. That is a thing that is annoying. I can get over it for the most part, but... That is annoying that that happened. Considering the rest of the key is fine. I, it looks fine. Uh, honestly, it looks like a, the Mar the MCU, the initial MCU Spider-Man suit, but yeah. Special Ranger Key! Yeah! Huh? This Ranger Key is a special item! So yeah, uh, instead of... Um, saying new hero what'll trigger instead is the special ranger key sound unlike the don brothers so i'm wondering i'm wondering if the key cut is a new one or not here's the key cut someone in the comments please cross reference if you care um and tell me so here's the yellow ranger which, again, I'm just going to say it. These look fine. It's just that one paint or that one decal mistake. And then blue. Purple. I don't know these guys' real designations because I haven't watched the show yet. Yeah, arms are a little bent to the or to the left. And they shouldn't be. 
But I think I think these all look just fine, honestly. Black. Yeah, these all just these all look fine. Like I'm I'm saying it. The only the only annoying thing is that one paint error. Or that one decal error. I am assuming silver. And then Akumo slash the white. He is the only one that doesn't have any problems. So, yeah. So, do I recommend this set? You may be wondering. Yeah, I do. There are people online who are, like, really, really bitching about all of the paint app errors or whatever. I've been saying this... Um, in Soundout 12's Discord server, and I think even on Twitter, um, some of these, some of the uh, the paint app errors are like they are minor, isolated incidents. You really shouldn't just be looking at one person saying something and think it's indicative of the whole product. What you should instead do is see how many people or take into account how many people aren't saying or bringing up these errors. So, yeah. Um, so I showed off a good portion of these. I should have... I should have put these a little bit over earlier, but whatever. Um, I think the majority of these keys turned out fine. Uh, the only one I have a cons a big issue with is Abare or um, Abare Killer, but yeah, that is the only key I really have a big issue with uh, for this. Let me just put the these guys right here. Um, okay, that's uh, it's gonna piss me off if I don't fix where the Dynaman and Die Rangers are <laughs> for my OCD. But yeah. Um, so in regards to this set, I would recommend it if you are fine with any minor paint errors. I think I, I think I basically just disproved what some people were saying. I legit saw someone either was either on Twitter or Sound Out Twelve's Discord server say that um that Rearranger had the hinge painted on previous ones. No. No they fucking didn't. I have uh so this is the one from the newest 35 red set from a year or two ago. Or from twenty twenty two. This is the original from the 35 red set from 2011 or 2012, whichever year it came out. This, <laughs> this is the oldest one I have. They did not do that. Okay, unless it was maybe the Gashapon version. Because I imagine this came out in the Gashapon form. They did not, back then, paint this little hinge thing red. They cast in white with the rest of the torso. The amazing thing would have been if they did it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think they did this. They did that either with the rest of the Rangers. So yeah, just to show that. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to blame, if you want to lay blame at Bandai for not fixing "quote unquote" that issue. That's fine. That's the criticism you should be going with, but you should not say that they did it originally because they didn't. I don't even think the reference book that they released in Japan with the prop key, with the pictures of the prop keys, um, had it. Unless if I am mistaken, but I don't think I am. So, yeah. In regards to the rest of the set, uh, or in regards to the Die Ranger keys themselves, the only paint app issue I am seeing, or the only two, are the stripes not going back down to their waists for some reason, and pink not having the uh, white knee pads on her. So, yeah, 
even though those two things should be happening. I don't know why they didn't fix the, or I don't know why they didn't affect, at least paint the white uh, knee pads on her, because they do exist on the uh, on the suit. So yeah, at least from what I understand. So yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Kyuuger keys, or no, uh, Dynaman keys. Fine, they're good. I recommend them. Abba Ranger keys minus a Barry Killer. I approve. I approve. And again, for reference of how these two should look. So yeah. Otherwise, the the, Abba, the other four Abba Ranger keys are fine. Maybe you'll get, if you want to get this set, maybe you'll get a, ver a variant uh, where they painted the visor right on a, a Abba Ranger Killer. But yeah, but because I got the uh, the Gokai, the, mem the Memorial Gokai Cellular, I don't need to worry about that. It does suck, but yeah. Kyoryujers, all ten of them included, are fine. I just wish that they had included the other three that they should have. Okay? And the uh, King Ogers, they are good. The only thing is the decal error on six out of the seven uh, Key's legs being wrong. But I can't really... Um, I can't really complain about them otherwise. So yeah, I'm just doing this to say, pick, or understand what you're getting, pick your poison, don't think anything is indicative of the whole, that's just one person or maybe two people complaining about it. Isolated incidents, it's just like the fucking uh, lightning collection figures. Okay. Pay attention to the consistent errors across multiple people posting about them. Okay, and you'll be fine. Everything else in this set is fine. The only genuine paint app error that I can see that is not consistent across the board is for Avare Killer's helmet for the visor, for the visor trim. They did the bare minimum of painting that the visor trim black, but yeah. And granted, from what I understand. The older version of the key did not paint it that well either. Uh, at least in regards to, like, I don't know if they were in Gashapon form. Paint's starting to chip off a little bit on this from being stored as it was. But this is from the... Oh, this had paint. Uh, this had running paint in a few places. But yeah, this is the older one from the DX set of Ava Ranger. But yeah, so I'm just I'm just bringing these things up because people make mountains out of molehills. It reminds me too much of the fucking lightning collection. Okay, again, understand what you're getting before you buy them. If you think that the set is fine enough for you, that is completely good. That is completely fine. Don't let other people f try to <laughs> tell you otherwise. Okay. But yeah, so that's basically it. So yeah, here's hoping we get another Ranger Key announcement soon for uh, Boon Boonger and Anniversary Hero set for every eighth Sentai. Which yeah, this is um this is a set for every Sentai that ends in seven. Uh, I think from the seventh on, but yeah, so you get yeah you get seven with Dynaman, seventeen with uh, Die Ranger. 27 with Abba Ranger, uh, 37 with Kyuuger, and 47 with King Oger. So yeah, just like how the set for the Don Brothers and the teams before them were every six. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens when they get the fives. But yeah, do you think it's really shitty that they're only doing like one of these sets per year, but granted also probably wallets and manufacturing difficulties and whatever so it's whatever at this point but yeah um so guys uh really not much else to say so yeah so links description to all my shit subscribe if you want and i'll see you guys in the next one